Hello and welcome to the very first Football Manager series here on the Pump Freest FM YouTube channel. And the side that will kick things off for Brighton Hove Albion, my boyhood club. No better team, we'll be using them for the beta and then eventually we'll, use, we'll go for a little bit more of a deeper challenge. But let's find out why I've picked Brighton. So let's find out some more about Brighton's history. They got promoted to the Premier League in 2017 got to an FA Cup semi-final in 2019 and last year was a joint record finish of 15th. Let's talk also now about their key players. Number one, you can't talk about any other player really. Lewis Dunk, club captain. I think he's their longest serving player in the team by a distance. Expect to be in the team for the rest of the save. I'm not dropping him from probably the, the 18. But someone who is going to be important for the next couple of seasons, Adam Lallana, 32 years old now, should be the creative hub of Brighton mm. midfield. I expect him to be a real link into the strikers. Speaking of which, Neil Mopai, current top goal scorer for the team, winds up fans, his own fans and others, should be a real integral part of our attack. But what are the aims of the save? Aim number one, we want to become a mid-table team. Tony Bloom has said that. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to try and win some silverware of any kind and get into Europe and then win the Champions League. That's the aim. Now we know a bit more about Brighton, I think it's time to get into episode number one. I am very excited for this. If you are too, let's hit that like button. 20 like target for the first episode. Let's hit it. Let's get it going. Let's keep it going. Come on the Albion. Let's get it on. Hello, welcome then to episode one. You've seen that introduction. Here we are at Brighton and Hove Albion. I am really, really, really excited. I was excited then. As you can see, I'm wearing a different t-shirt. <laughs> that was shot on a different day, that whole first bit. It's been ready for a while. But here we are. The game is ready. Let's have a look. I haven't touched anything. If you want to see how I set up the save, there is a video for that. It should be on screen now. I might have dropped even a thumbnail on it. So get yourself over there. Have a look at that. Hit a sub button, I'm going to add some more guides going. But here we are in the Brighton save. I'm well happy. Here we are. Not sure what I'm looking up at, but let's have a look. Okay, so first, we're not going to go for every news article because that can get pretty mundane, but we'll keep these episodes nice and short and snappy. I'm Brighton manager. I'm here for two years. I've replaced Graham Potter. I'm only 23, so maybe the, the, board, uh, the uh, board won't give me as much time. But let's have a look. So in terms of, I haven't, I haven't done any of this. I haven't played any FM yet. This is literally the first save I have started. Let's have a look. So, players in last year of contract. We can go through that in a minute. We're not worried about that right now. What's this? Tactical direction required. Tactics express how you want your team to play. Various areas around the club, such as training and recruitment, rely on having a tactic in place to make important decisions, as it does. The relevant departments of the club would like to know your intended tactics to help them make these decisions going forward. Cool. So what it's asking for basically is, can you put a tactic in? Because we'd quite like to know what sort of players we want, which is going to be important with the new feature this year of the recruitment meetings, which will the board, all your staff will get together, work out, okay, you need a left back. We need a left back at Brighton. There may be one. <laughs> or they may go, okay, you need a striker, whichever situation, because maybe your striker's leaving. So we're going to set a tactic up. But you know what? We'll finish all these, for me, these messages first, and then we'll come back and create the tactic. Club vision. Now, if you watch that video with the setup, you'll have seen these already. So a sneaky hint. But what the board want, Brighton are an em have an emphasis on young players, young talent. There is young talent coming through now. I can list five off right now. Tariq Lamptey, Aaron Connolly, Stephen Alzate, Eve Basuma, and Ben White. And to be honest, I feel like I've missed people out there. But those five are going to be the core of this save. They will be here until the end. Unless injuries or whatever. <laughs> they will be here. And they might be getting sold. They might get sold on. Tariq Lamptey's already been linked with a move in real life to, uh, to Bayern Munich, to Atletico Madrid. So don't take it as a given they'll be here forever. But you can be pretty certain it's gonna. that's how it's going to roll. We're going to have those talented players around the club. But what's important this first season, actually, this is really telling. They want us to be a mid-table side, the board, in this club vision. This one here, in our first year, finish mid-table. That's going to be a bit of a challenge, I think, especially if we're working in the wage budget. We'll see what sort of transfer budget we have. We're going to play. We are going to make transfers. We have, if you get, again, look back at that video when it comes to the setup. We are going to make some transfers. We're going to have to look to improve a couple of areas. We may look to move one or two on. 
So let's keep going. Preseason preparation. We've got a friendly against the second 11. In Grenoble, Celtic. We're going to Scotland regardless. Friendlies. You won't see any friendlies. The next episode. So today's just going to be setting everything up. Tomorrow is going to be first game of the season. And making chances as well. So we'll, we'll show you what happened. Injuries. We do have some injuries. This is a big issue. Alzate's out for the first four weeks. And Donay's out for six months. Bit of an issue as well. Jose is Kiedo. You can have to nurse him out. He's been out for 15 months. This is I like this. This seems like a an addition. Davy Prop is out for four to seven weeks, and Christian Walton's out for two to three months. So we are a bit light on our uh, feet right now. So we'll uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look at attack. That might affect how we play. Squad selection rules. So this is just the Premier League registration rules when we're starting in. Must have at least eight players trained by a club in England. This is liable to change with the Brexit situations. It's still in the game. It's still. In flux, we won't go into it. <laughs> but, the squad, and the, but the registration now, eight homegrown players. Must have no more than 25. I think we're pretty happy we've got some homegrown players here. Now, transfer window in real life. Big player, biggest signings going in and out. Alvaro Morata. I'm not even sure it was 50 million. He's already moved on to Juventus, right? Sorry, Zebra, right? Oh, I haven't looked at that screen yet. We'll, uh, we'll come back to that screen. I like the colours. I like the purple. Okay, introductory advice. I don't have to look too much at this, but this is just going to tell you, okay, who should be cap uh, vice captain, who should take corners, who should be taking all the set pieces basically the board's giving me a, a heads up before we get there but let's jump into this meeting quickly to be honest i'm just going to accept the current vision i think it's fair i think the tables where brighton are aiming uh that's sort of 14th to 9th or 8th even i don't think it's going to happen for brighton but ambition is there for sure so let's get into this tactic we're going to have to learn a lot really we have to learn on our feet here so let's create this tactic now now how i want to play we're not parking the bus. We're not playing Catanacho. We're not playing defensive football. We want to dominate the ball. And if that means playing tiki taka, that means playing tiki taka. If it means taking risks, it means taking risks. So what we're going to do, we're going to look to build through the thirds. Believe this style as well. I, to be honest, I think even vertical tiki taka might work for Brighton. I want to be direct. I want to be getting Neil Mopai in behind. Like I said in the intro, he's going to be integral. And getting Lalana to play those through balls, I think it's going to be really important as well. We'll start with a tiki taka. We'll look to maybe speed it up a little bit because I know it can be a little slow in the Premier League. It's a little unforgiving. 5 2 2 1 is actually not a million miles from what Brighton play in real life. So I'm tempted to play that. But what I might start with to begin with, I want to play five at the back actually. So I want to play, I'll show you the play. I've got an idea. Obviously, it depends if the game will let me do it or not, but I've got an idea of what we want to do. In goal, now, this is where me being a Brighton fan is going to affect me being Brighton manager in the game. I would be open to moving on from Matt Ryan as a goalkeeper. Aerial reach, he struggles in the air. He really does. When the ball gets put in his head, and in the Premier League, the ball gets put in your head an awful lot as a keeper. I actually think he could be improved upon. And I wonder if he could be improved upon within. I mean, Brighton have already this season dropped him for a league game. And played Rob Sanchez, who's not even in the squad. We'll have a look at the dev centre while we're here, actually. Anyone down here? This is one guy I'd like to get in the team soon. I think some of his stats need some work, actually, looking at it. But Jason Malumbi could be a fantastic Premier League box-to-box -box midfielder. He needs to work on some of these more attacking stats, let's say, or some of the more mental and technical areas. But he could be really, really good. So he's going to stay in the reserves. I might even loan him out for the first year, but expect to see him in the squad at some point in the near future. But here he is, Rob Sanchez. I don't think he's going to play by looks of it. He's not in the game quite got the technical ability, I don't think, to be a quality goalkeeper, a mental ability, really, actually. So anyway, back to this team. Matt Ryan's going to start in goal. Right centre-back, we're going to go with Ben White. I think he's going to play there. Central defender on defend. I'm really leaning towards Veltman, actually. I think he could do it. What's confusing, actually, if you've played Foot Manager 20, I'm used to seeing circles pop up. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll live as it is. And Lewis Dunk on the left. What I want is these two centre-backs to be the ones spraying the ball forward and into these attacking areas. That's why vertical tick attack might happen. But we'll see how we go. Right wing back. I'm hoping Tariq Lamptey is... Yes, this is now. This is where the game has got something right. Tariq Lamptey, I think even, to be honest, he's been done a little short on the old te on the technicals. He needs to be higher. But the, the, the kid has potential, right? He's going to be... I think he's the one that if there's another right back to push into that England squad, I think Tariq Lamptey might be the one. It's a very tightly contested group. I think he's absolutely Brighton's best player at the moment on form in real in the real world. I actually think, hmm, maybe there's scope for him to play the other side as an inverted wing back. But regardless, Tariq Lamptey is going to be vital. And I, to be honest, I don't want to sell him. I don't think they've put a release clause in, right? No, they've not put a release clause in. And he's, he's 
cheap money. He might ask for a new contract, rightly so, to be honest. Left wing back is an area of concern. I'm tempted by Dan Byrne, just for the, the funny meme of having Dan Byrne, six foot seven. Let's have a quick look at his stats. He's not a wing back, right? He's not a wing back in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, 201 centimeters. I need to change it, actually. We'll change that for the second episode. Very tall. Could be a very good. I think, to be honest, he's more of a centre back option. He's going to be a backup. Coming in for those lesser important Premier League games, maybe for games we want to change it, how we play a little bit. But to have someone who can play there and can play in other positions, fantastic. But Solly March is the one I want out there to start with. As the wing back, not complete wing back, I don't trust us to play quite that aggressive from the off. Defensively, he struggles, but he's got Lewis Dunk behind him to really back him up. He's wanted by Wolves. It's not going to, he's not moving to Wolves. So that's our defence sorted. In midfield, now this is where it's going to get a little bit more. In midfield, why is Bernardo showing as our best ball winning midfielder? Hmm, maybe. Okay, so in terms of system, this is what I like now. We see this down here. I like this. Gives you an idea of how that ball winning midfielder is going to play. On defend, maybe. I don't think defend. I think we play him. To be honest, I'm tempted to play him as the box-to-box -box midfielder. And let Basuma go from box to box, winning the ball, covering in here. I think there's probably scope then to play. We'll start with Lalana in there. I want to check to see where he's going to be best served in that role. I think Mazala actually. In behind this shadow striker, getting into these spaces, sort of, in a way, working with Solly March to get into these sorts of areas. Because Lamptey can get up and down all day. He doesn't need really too much help on that side. But Solly March might need an Adam Lalana to sort of thread through balls. Shadow striker, I think Leandro Trossard's got it in his locker, right? He's got the, the ability, I think, there to play as a pretty good shadow striker. He can finish pretty well for a player of his quality. Good technicals. I actually think he could score a few goals this season in that position. Now, advanced playmaker, I think to start with, it's going to be Pascal Gross. Underrated. If you look at him in a stats situation in real life, he is really underrated, and I think this role helps with his lack of speed because he really hasn't got a lot of speed. But set pieces, he's going to be really important. 18 corners, 17 crossing. I think he can get balls into really, really good places, which I might even encourage him to look a little bit wider. That way he moves into those areas and is able to deliver a ball into the centre, which is going to be important, really, for good crosses into our main striker. Where is he? Where is it? There, I thought he said he wasn't I thought I said Andy Zakiri was a one, uh, was a two and a half star then. Yeah, complete forward. We're going to play Neil Mopai. Who wants Neil Mopai? You're not getting him, Neil Mopai. <laughs> Neil Mopai is going to be our main striker for the season. We do have options. So if Neil Mopai can't do it, Danny Welbeck definitely can. He may even play a slightly different role than the complete forwards. But to start with, Neil Mopai is the, was our top goal scorer last season at Brighton. So expect to see him. We might even look to play him as the pressing, as a pressing forward on attack. And let him get in amongst it because he's got the, I think, the scrappy nature in him to go and try and win that ball back. Maybe as a complete forward, I think he lacks, to be honest, he doesn't lack in a lot of places. Jumping reaches where we're not a particularly physical side. Winds up opponents is one of his player traits. Can confirm you've got that right, SI. <laughs> Good job. But that is going to be the sort of team I'm looking at, I think, for this first, this first six months or so. I'm going to go away now. I'm going to play all the, uh, play all the, Friendlies, do a couple of transfers maybe. We'll look at maybe improving that left wing back. That looks like one. If a goalkeeper comes up, let's have a quick look actually. Let's see what sort of money we're playing with. £10 million. Ooh, that is, that's enough for me to play with. Absolutely. So £10 million I think is enough. Brighton have spent a bit of money this summer. Not an awful lot, but there are some. They're talking of transfers. We're going to go through it quickly now. Jacob Moda, I like the sound of. I've heard good things of. Will come in and be an option at some point. Oh, no. <laughs> report. Where's my report? Why is this changed? Scout report. Why am I not? Why is it not telling me how good he is? Can't see. Oh, okay. I guess you have to scout that to start with, which is. This seems a little bit of an issue, but fine. Regardless, this is beta. Do not judge the full game on what the game looks like now in any way shape or form another one they've brought in brighter focus on youth this summer michael karbovnik is another one i expect to feature at some point along with andy zakiri i actually think andy zakiri might go out on loan if a ch good championship side came for him i'd probably look to move him out 
just to give him a chance to go and play some football, really. He's not played a lot of good level football. Lausanne is great for initial starts, but he needs to be getting good football. So we're going to let him go out on loan maybe for the season. Who did he start off at? I was on loan at Juventus. Very interesting. But I think that wraps it up for right now. Probably the first episode. I think that wraps up our... Uh, Oh, John Paul Van Hecker. Actually, one, one second. Just have a look. No, okay. I can't tell, I guess. Regardless, <laughs> we will wrap up the first episode there. We've given you a good, I think, a good overview of what the club's about, what we're going to be doing this year. Expect to see us challenging in that mid table. We'll win a few games, we'll lose a few games. Maybe we can push higher. Maybe we need to fight a bit more lower down. Regardless, expect to see a lot of entertaining football. That's the plan. Be direct, score goals. That is the Brighton we've all paid to see. So, if you've enjoyed that, hit the like, hit the sub, have a great time, you know. We're all friends here. Do it. We do what you want to do. But let me know. Give me some give me some suggestions. I might have I'll probably have made the chance first by the time you get we get back here. But let me know. Episode one is gonna start the league with let's have a look who our first league games against. Should be real. Oh no, I I guess I didn't turn that on. We've got Newcastle away to start with. It's actually quite a kind start. We don't play a big team, old fashioned style big team. Until that Tottenham game at the end of November, that's a long old time. What we'll probably do next episode, we'll play the Newcastle game, we'll play the West Ham game, we're not going to play the Carabao Cup game until it gets serious. And then we'll come back for the Everton Liverpool game, the uh, Tottenham Liverpool game, sorry, which could be great. So if you want to see that, hit the sub button. Like I said, we are the mighty Brighton over Albion. Come on, let's get this up the Albion. Let's go.